This is the Hoka Skyward X. It's marketed by Hoka as a road shoe for training. And I've been using it as a trail shoe for races. Let's get into it. Before we get into exactly how I've been misusing this shoe, let's just talk about the specs for a second. It is a 48 mil stack height. That is huge, isn't it? It's the biggest stack height of any Hoka shoe. Arguably, it's the most cushioned shoe out there at the moment. 46 mil for women, 48 mil at the back, and a five mil drop back to front. It has a dual foam midsole, so we've got a Piba top layer for that energy return, and then a super critical EVA frame for the stability. And sandwiched between the two is a convex carbon plate, again, adding to the stability. In reality, it doesn't really act as a carbon plate pushing you forward. There is a little bit of that, but generally the carbon plate is used more for stability on your run. There is quite a pronounced meta rocker on the shoe. Back to the old days of Hoka shoes with this meta rocker roll at the front here. The top is a flat mesh upper. It's a knitted mesh upper. Very comfortable, molds to your feet very well. The tongue is very plush, thick and comfortable. And there is a nice heel grip here at the back. There's this patterned molding on the sole and then you can see the carbon plate in this cavity section here. The weight of the shoe obviously depends on the size that you get, but in general, around about 320 to 390, nearly 400 grams, this is not a light shoe. A little bit lighter in the women's sizes, but you're not gonna be using this as a fast, light road racing shoe. Hoka are marketing this shoe as a super trainer, a road running shoe for your long runs, for your recovery runs. But I've been taking it out off road on the trails of some of the UK most iconic summer ultras and let me tell you it's absolutely fantastic now strictly speaking world athletics prohibit the use of any shoe with a stack height over 40 mil and this is 48 thankfully mountain trails and ultras do not count so we're all good but it's just worth bearing in mind if you were thinking of doing a road race in these or any race that's affiliated to world athletics a track event you would not be allowed to use these shoes the Centurion South Downsway 100 is a 100 mile ultra race, which takes place on the rolling South Downs here in the south of the UK. It's not flat by any means with 3,500 meters of vertical gain and some rocky and uneven terrain. But it takes place in June each year, which more often than not means that it's hot and dry. Whilst there are some rocky and uneven sections, most of the trail is open, grassy, soft and very runnable. Similarly, Race to the Stones is a 100 kilometer race that takes place on arguably Britain's oldest road, the Ridgeway. It takes place in July, so once again, it's often warm, hot and sunny. The trails are woodland paths, grassy slopes and chalky byways. I ran both those races wearing these Skyward X shoes, primarily for their cushioning. I was out on the South Downs Way 100 for around 25 hours and Race to the Stones, I took around 13 hours. So the cushioning was definitely needed over that long time out on my feet. By the way, if you're enjoying this review, please do consider subscribing to the Film My Run channel. We'd really appreciate it, it really helps us out. And do try to watch to the end of this video because that really helps the algorithm as well. Thank you so much. For both races, the Skyward X delivered everything I needed for those long hours on the trail. The dual foam midsole absorbed the impact of every step, saving my legs for those later miles. The Meta Rocker geometry helped keep me moving forward smoothly. And despite the stack height, the shoe felt stable and comfortable even on uneven ground. Whilst it's not a technical trail shoe by any means, for dry, non-technical terrain like the South Downs or the Ridgeway, these were absolutely perfect. The only thing I found was that occasionally I would get a large stone stuck in the cavity here, which I'd have to stop and pull out. Other than that, I am very happy with my choice of the Skyward X over, say, my normal trail shoes, something like the Hocus Speed Goats. Now, with the caveat that, as I said before, some 
spaces may deem these shoes illegal because of the stack height depending on how strictly they enforce any rules or how they are aligned to a governing body like World Athletics for example. However I can really see these shoes working fantastically well on say a 24-hour track event or even something like Comrades or Spartathlon road races long distance road races this shoe you're not going super fast that's where the shoe falls down really you can't do fast road marathons in them I would definitely wear my vapor flies or something of that ilk rather than these on a flat fast road marathon but something where you're moving significantly slower over a much longer period of time these are going to be absolutely phenomenal I promise you they're amazing definitely the weight of these shoes and the bulkiness of them means that they're really not suitable for for marathon events definitely your vapor flies or your Saucony endorphin elites other things to go for but for training just to make those long miles or those recovery runs feel even easier even more relaxed even more plush and luxurious uh, these are the shoes to go for for definite in terms of pricing these are going to set you back around 185 pounds here in the UK you can find them a bit cheaper I've seen them for 166 check out sportsshoes.com or runners need use a discount code if you can find one uh, but I think it's worth it they are a bit more expensive in the USA $225 or so but you know shoes are not cheap these days are they and shoes are generally around that price 180 200 pounds is generally what you're paying these days for a decent pair of shoes and these aren't going anywhere that foam is strong stuff there's a plastic a toe guard here at the front so they're gonna last you a while these have lasted me for 300 or so miles what with races and training that I've done in them and a good all-round issue that I think you can use not only for training but for races as well do you have the Skyward X? Have you used it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree that perhaps you can use it for races? Have you used it in a race? What do you think? Have you maybe used it in faster races? Have you used it in a marathon? What did you think of it in that scenario? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the Film My Run channel. There'll be plenty more reviews coming your way and I'll see you on the start line next time.